absolute bloodbath, guys. Today, I need to talk about what is happening with the market right now because my orange box is trying to hold up the Bitcoin price here. Are we going to succeed? I need to talk about what I see happening for Bitcoin. I'm going to talk about a couple of different reasons why you're seeing this, but more importantly, I'm going to talk about what I think is going to happen next because in situations like these, we do have a track record of what is going to come next. So guys, Make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end of this video. I got absolutely wrecked. I made one of the biggest trading mistakes I've made in my entire life. I will go through that so you do not make the same mistake as well. So guys, yes, very important stuff to talk about today. Make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day, teaching you how to make money in this market. If you're new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now. And guys, I woke up to this. What in the blue skies is happening with the crypto markets? So altcoins absolutely wrecked. Bitcoin having crazy candles towards the downside went as low as 49, actually less than $49,000. So let us try to uh, dissect what actually is happening at this very moment here. So first thing is the last few days we've been talking about the uh, data that came out from the United States signaling that we are, if not in a recession, we're very close to being in a recession. Apart from that, we also had the uh, Japanese carry trade, so the yen carry trade, uh, which I've been talking about at length, where, as you know, guys, you were able to borrow uh, Japanese yen basically for free, and then you could convert that to US dollars, and that has been pumping the stock markets across the world. And now with the uh, Japanese Central Bank uh, hiking the interest rates, all of a sudden the money is not free anymore. And so people need to sell off their assets. They need to sell off their stocks and uh, they need to return those yen. We're going to talk about this a little bit more. But just know that these are the key factors that have triggered this downfall and that you're seeing right now. The, the, the market is in massive panic mode right now. And uh, if you look at Bitcoin, you can see that yesterday we were, I think we were right here. So the orange box was trying to hold up the Bitcoin price right here. But what I said yesterday is that keep your eyes on when the markets open up uh, today, because if the unwinding continues from the Japanese yen, then you could see some panic in the market. And at that point, I don't really know how low we're going to go. So that happened. And you can see that we had huge red candles here. And right now we find ourselves, at least the orange box here, is holding up the Bitcoin price, which is good. Uh, but on the wick here, it went down to $48,000. So keep your eyes on this orange box here. And uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about what I am personally doing in terms of my trades as well. But just know that this is the situation and we're in the middle of all of this. And um this reminds me a little bit. This is the same kind of black swan event you're seeing right now as you saw during COVID. Because what is actually happening is that if we look at uh, some of the largest stocks here, the seven largest stocks have erased nearly $500 billion of market cap in overnight trading. Apple is currently down 7%. As the markets open and this is not crypto guys seven percent for apple this is absolutely massive and if you look at the rest of the market south korea has actually halted all sell orders on the stocks uh, because they're seeing a global stock uh, crisis here so uh, south korea has halted their stock trading uh, i'm pretty sure that japan has halted stock trading as well so this is the kind of panic that you usually see uh, when this black swan event happens. And we saw this also during the uh, COVID crisis, like when you saw the COVID drop in 2000 and was it 2020? So uh, let us go back here. So let us see. So during this time, you also saw, of course, the stock markets across the world, they stopped their stock markets from trading um, or at least selling. So you could only buy, uh, but this went down, like, so Bitcoin went from like $8,000 down to uh, $4,000 during this time period. However, this was a bit different as well. Uh, what you're seeing right now is not as aggressive, but my point is that this turned out to be the best buy-in opportunity um, during the cycle. And I think that what you're seeing right now in one year, in some time, 
we're going to be at higher prices. However, I have this caveat though. I don't know how low we're going to go because there's so many different factors to consider right now. But what I do know is that when things like these happen, the Fed usually turns on the money printer. So is this time going to be different? Well, if they turn on the money printer, then you could see this kind of quick recovery, even though, yes, just like I said, what you're seeing right now is not as intensive as you saw here during the COVID drop, but the overall uh, sphere is the same. So the overall strategy could still be the same. That we were having a big drop, panic across all the markets, guys, because this is not isolated to crypto. This is a global event. And um, yeah, that could happen. And in that case, we can expect a big bounce towards the upside here. Now, if we look at the two-day chart as well, um, you can see that we have broken down from this pattern. So things, these drops, they have made um, most of the charts look really, really bad, actually. Not only in crypto, but for traditional markets and everything else as well. So this is something we need to keep our eyes on. You can see that traditional markets, the S&P 500 uh, is breaking down also from my orange box. Sorry, from my orange line here. So we're taking down, uh, taking out some of the support levels here on the way down as well. Um, the Japanese uh, yen chart compared to the US dollar, you can see that the Japanese yen is becoming stronger compared to the US dollar because this is going down, meaning the US dollar is losing against the Japanese yen. And this is not what you want to see. This is the kind of thing that is going to intensify the drop across all of the markets here. So yeah. The Nikkei, which is Japan's stock market, posted the biggest two-day drop in its history. So this is definitely unprecedented. So before I talk about uh, me getting wrecked here, let me talk about uh, how this actually worked here. So the quick explanation of the carry trade is to borrow at 0% rate and invest in something with higher than zero expected returns. So you borrow yen for nothing, you buy an asset outside of Japan that yields more than nothing, and then you profit. So this is the thing that has been happening for 30 years, guys. And it has been more intensive the last few years because the US has had on the dollar like 5% interest rates. Uh, the rest of the markets has had, or the rest of the currencies have had like 4 or 5% interest rate. But Japan has had 0%. So a lot of people have been uh, taking out these loans from Jen, and then they have been uh, buying assets. And also, there's a couple of different, this is like a bad um, bad uh, chain reaction to this as well, because the Jen is so much stronger right now, and anyone who has borrowing, uh, that has borrowed Jen now owes 10% more in USD terms just over the few weeks. Why do they owe 10% more compared to just a few weeks ago? Well, because, like you see here, the USD is losing against the Japanese Yen. So, if the, the lower this goes, the more expensive it gets for people to finally sell their uh, assets and return the yen. Because as the yen is becoming stronger and stronger, they're losing more and more. And as people need to buy yen to return to the Japanese central bank, they need to buy yen of the open market, which pushes up the yen price compared to the US dollar. So this result uh, caused some traders to sell their assets and repurchase yen in order to pay back their loans, just, just like I said. But that buy pressure against the yen sends it up further, which forces more buy-in, resulting in a liquidation cascade. It seems folks were making a bet that the interest rates would stay at zero forever on the Japanese yen and that uh, yeah, yen would become worthless. But the Bank of Japan is not uh, willing to let the currency fall, so they hiked the interest rates by 0.25% and now look at all of the panic that is happening in the market. So yes, this is the reason why you're seeing this massive panic. Yes, in situations like these, the Fed or uh, yeah, the Fed usually resorts to money printing. And also, if you look at everything that's happening right now, what could be worse than having all of this at the same time? Middle East potential war, which, by the way, guys, it is. Uh, there are some reports saying that there's going to be an attack today, so we will see, guys. Um, but Jump also, oh, I didn't talk about this. Jump started to sell all of their crypto yesterday, and this is insane. Because uh, Jump liquidating their crypto book into thin markets on a summer Sunday afternoon perfectly sums up why crypto uh, is such a mess. So Jump, they sold so much crypto yesterday. They dumped essentially everything they had into a Sunday summer afternoon when the markets are closed. 
absolutely insane and that also caused a lot of panic in the market obviously arthur hayes says that uh, my trad fee birdies are telling me that somebody big got smoked and is dumping all crypto so uh, that could be referring to uh, jump crypto um but yeah that also caused a lot of panic yesterday so let me go back here stock market wiped the whole crypto market cap value in one session yes this is insane guys in just one trading session, the entire crypto market's worth of assets got wiped out from the stock market. Mt. Gox are repaying. Trump, yeah, this is also a big one. He went from 70% to win the election to only 53% in two weeks. So this is also causing a lot of panic in the market. US economy numbers are wrecked. There are civil wars potentially starting in the UK and other European countries. And then you have the Yannick Carry trade is going wrecked as well. So, yeah, a lot of things happening. And speaking about wrecked, let me talk a bit about myself because I also got absolutely wrecked. So, you know that I had two trading bots open on OKX and then I had one uh, individual trade. So, as you know, guys, I said yesterday that, uh, yeah, I'm just going to add more margin. I'm going to make sure I'm not getting liquidated and I am going to, uh, yeah, uh, just manage risk. So, what I did yesterday is that I looked at my trade that I had open here and I saw... And I had like $50,000 in USDT on my account. Um, and this was cross position, which means that the liquidation price, it is accounting for the money I had on my account, which was $50,000. And I saw, okay, my liquidation price is like $39,000 or $41,000. And at the time, Bitcoin was at $59,000. So I didn't think that we would go down like $20,000 during the night. So I looked at the liquidation price and I said, okay, this individual trade, this is fine. Liquidation price is at like $40,000. Okay, so I went over to my trading strategies here and I had two, bo two bots open. And I looked at the liquidation price and I saw, okay, one is at, I don't know what it was at that point, And the other one was at something else. And I said, okay, let me just add a little bit more margin. So I added more margin and um, from my account however what i didn't account for is that obviously when i add more margin to these trading strategies it takes away from the margin that was being used during the cross position for um for this position that i had open so obviously the liquidation price got higher during uh, when, when i added more margin to the trading strategies so this was just a stupid silly mistake guys um, I didn't think of the position here as cross margin. I didn't uh, consider the fact that it was using the money I had on the account as margin to lower that liquidation price when I looked at it and it was at $40,000. So yeah, I don't know what the liquidation price was, but I just woke up and it got wrecked. So I lost like $40,000 on this individual trade due to that silly mistake of not realizing that the margin used was actually cross margin. And when I added that to the bots, then obviously it was not uh, accounting for the other, or it was not uh, uh, lowered in the price of the individual trade. Okay, now let's talk about these trading strategies. So this is the oldest one I had, and this is at minus $65,000 right now, brutal. Liquidation price is at $25,000. So this is fine. I'm going to hold this one, and I'm going to add more margin. Yes, <laughs> liquidation price is $25,000, um, but um, yeah, I think I should be pretty safe on this one. But the other bot I had, it actually got stopped, not by me, but by OKX themselves. So I got a mess, an email saying like, oh, we stopped the bot due to risk management or something like this. Which, by the way, guys, is absolutely absurd because I did not choose for them to stop that trading strategy. So that is absolutely insane that they went ahead and did that. I don't know why they closed that one, which was at like minus $15,000, but they're keeping this one open at $64,000. So yeah, I think that that is absolutely absurd why they went ahead and closed that position. Actually, this is the email I got. The uh, Futures Grid bot running in your account was stopped for risk control purposes. So that sucks. I would have kept that one open, obviously. And right now, as you're seeing this bounce, obviously it would start to trade again as it is now in range again. So this one is definitely out of range. We need to go up to 68,500. So guys, I will make a dedicated like update on everything I'm doing here. Um, we do not know how low we're gonna go. We usually see the Fed intervene in situations like these to try to stimulate the economy and make sure we don't get absolutely annihilated. Uh, the Japanese carry trade is unwinding right now, so let's keep our eyes on that. Uh, the orange box is trying to hold up the Bitcoin price here on the daily time frame. 
Um, other than that, guys, be careful out there and just know that at the end of the day, this is money. You are going, just stay in the crypto markets. Make sure you do not get absolutely liquidated. Make sure you do not get absolutely wrecked. Because even though I got wrecked on these trades here, this is just a fraction of the uh, of the money I have. And even in crypto, guys, um, yeah, I got my spot positions for Bitcoin. Yes, they are at much lower prices today than they were just a few days ago. Uh, but it's still one Bitcoin is still one Bitcoin. And I do think that at some point, one Bitcoin is going to be worth more than 150, more than $200,000. So I'm fine holding that, even though it hurts today. It hurts looking at your portfolio. Be careful with altcoins. This is what I've been saying for the last five or four months. Be careful with altcoins. Bitcoin is something else, but altcoins can get absolutely wrecked. And I maintain that, guys. Be careful because this is also going to switch dynamic. Unless we see the Fed start to turn on the money printer and we see like a COVID recovery, like a V-shaped recovery, be careful with altcoins in general. Uh, but just know that as long as you stay in crypto, learn from this, potentially start to scale in, even though we do not know how low we're going to go. Uh, but um, yeah, just make sure to do not do anything stupid. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just money. And uh, we are going to recover as long as we learn from this, as long as we stay in the market. I've been through this time and time again. We are going to recover from this and we are going to make more money in the future, guys. So uh, that is what I got for you in today's video. Make sure to check out the uh, bonuses in the description. You get up to $30,000 on Bybit by using this link right here. You get up to $60,000 in OKX by using this one. And up to $40,000 on BitGet by using this. Avo, get a free $300 trade by using this link right here. Best trading toolkit out there, Lux Algo. Make sure to take advantage of this discount as well for the best trading tool. So that's what I got for you today, guys. Stay safe out there. And I will see you in the next one.